you doing, ah? Uh? I'm hunting. Furniture hunting. So, we are short for books, clothes and food, all in various sustainable ways. But, did you know that we can also shop sustainably for furnitures? Instead of buying new furniture, consider buying second-hand ones sourced from hotels and homes instead. Hoxiong is a used furniture shop originated from its Karanguni days. Step into this place and it feels like you have travelled back in time. Homeowners who are searching for antique furniture will love this place. Hi Brilin, could you just share with us how did Hoxiong first started? Hoxiong is started by my father, Mr. Do Chin Xiong. He used to follow my grandfather, who is a Karanguni man, to neighbourhood houses and estates for the collection of old newspaper, old clothing and old electrical items. So eventually, he ventured into buying used furniture from them, where Marco Polo Hotel is undergoing demolition. How does upcycling work at Hoxiong is that um, we will first see whether the item is suitable to be upcycled or refurbished. We also see them based on what is like, trendy in the market and what uh, people want. Nowadays, you see wardrobes, they are all built in because I believe we have more belongings than in the past where like you see wardrobe is just like a two-door cabinet kind of thing. We have to suit the market trends so we just refurbish them or upcycle them into another purpose which is like a bookcase. So I think using recycled or upcycled products, right, they are a great way to be sustainable. As you see, trees don't grow like overnight or in a, in a day, in a month. They take years to grow, especially good trees. It's very easy to buy something and then throw. But then if you use something that is recycled or upcycled, you are prolonging the life of it. The item will last through generations. Our furniture hunting continues to another shop that takes sustainability to the next level. Roger & Sons makes custom bespoke furniture by upcycling wood. They collect wood that has been thrown away and repurpose them into tables and chairs. Instead of cutting down more trees, you can custom make a new piece of furniture with old wood. My dad started this business about 32 years ago and uh, he was primarily doing a lot of uh, carpentry work. So me and my brothers uh, took over the company about six years ago uh, after my dad passed away. The Local Tree Project is an uh, initiative we started um, two years ago where we took the local trees um, that has been felt in Singapore uh, and turned them into furniture and objects. Singapore cuts down about 100 thousand trees in the next 15 years. When we went to the sawmill, we saw an abundance of trees and we felt really, really sad about it. What we thought was that, how can we use um, the local trees and to turn them into objects and furniture that we can actually love and feel for. So some of the things we want to do is be able to work with sawdust, to work with uh, small offcuts, to create a new material, to reduce the amount of waste we have and do more for the environment. Your quality furniture may well last for decades saving you all that money as you pass them down to the next generation as an antique piece. If you're looking for a real bargain, check out our Free Furniture Singapore Facebook group. All furnitures listed are free, simply contact the individual and arrange for a pickup. They are mostly items like tables, chairs and mattresses, items that are left behind by owners who are moving or relocating overseas. We've come to the end of Small Cost Big Cost. We hope you have found our tips useful and also adopting more sustainable habits in your life. Just remember, every effort counts. You don't always have to break the bank in order to go green. It's all about changing some habits and also looking for the right retailers or online groups. Keep your recommendations coming at our comment section down below. Remember to live sustainably and also cut the wastage. This is Dallas signing off. Thanks for watching. <laughs>